My name is Richard Oliver. I'm originally from Wales in the UK. I moved to Los Angeles about 15 years ago. I'm pre predominantly a figurative painter, um, but I'm moving into plein air painting and I'm embracing it with all of my heart. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it is wonderful to be here um, and to have the opportunity to come up here. Yeah, I'm just embarking on this journey of plein air. Um, I've been more of a representational um, figurative painter somewhat, I mean in the lowbrow, non-fine art scene if, if you will, uh, for the last like 15 years. Actually it's probably longer than that, I've been, you know, got my degree in fine art going back 25 years ago, but I've been focused on um, that sort of lowbrow, pop surreal art for about 10 years. Um, and I feel a change coming on, you know, um, it just feels like I spent too much time in the studio just working on those paintings, uh, I wasn't getting outside, I didn't think it was really healthy for me, so um, there was a quiet voice within that sort of called me to um, go out and paint outside and I'm dedicating at least a day a week to get out of the studio, take, I've, I've coined the term, um, what's the term, Friday outside day. Hashtag Friday Outside Day. Um, <laughs> it's my thing. Um, just to get out. Um, it's it's a different animal entirely, you know, plain air, and it's like starting again from the beginning. And uh, what I love about it is just how healthy it is. Again, being outside, but then just having to um, work differently, work quicker, learn to see again. I think in the studio, you know, when you're looking at just digital images or photographs and portraits. Um, you know, you get into a rut a little bit, um, but going outside and actually seeing and painting light is hugely different to what I'm used to. Um, the transition is difficult, it is. I mean, people didn't embrace that movement as much as I had hoped. You know, you'd think that, hey, here's another quiver in my bow, this is what I do as well. Um, but, you know, people get used to seeing you and they get confused if you mix it up. So I am treating it entirely as a different a different, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say product, a different um, avenue, a different journey, a different path. Um, but the calling is real. I mean, I, I can't deny it. It's not the best business decision, obviously, you know. Mm -hmm. And listening to the, um, the talks that were going on yesterday, you know, deeply resonated with me. Um, you know, following, following my heart and doing something authentic. Uh, it's just something that I've got to do at this point in my life, you know.